Tombstone, Arizona Territory, October 16, 1882. Sheriff Clay Hollister took his job seriously, and he was in no mood to entertain out-of-town callers. I don't care if this man Ferguson is the president's representative. I can't talk to him now. I'm sorry, Harris. All right. I'll tell him. Here he comes. Watch him, Joe. He's got four arms and a gun in each hand. It still only takes one slug to kill him. Get you to jail and have the doc take a look at that arm. Sorry, Sheriff. I guess I spoke to you at the wrong time. I'm Ferguson from Washington. Yeah, I know. Editor Clavern told me you wanted to talk to me. That's right. You almost lost your chance. account from the pages of my newspaper, the Tombstone Epitaph. This is the way it happened, in the town too tough to die. Tombstone Territory. Mid-morning in Tombstone, October 16, 1882. There had already been one arrest, a near killing, and the conference on crime was in session. So, President Arthur sent me out here to investigate your mounting crime and lawlessness. He feels that Tombstone is a blot upon the entire country. Your Boot Hill is proof enough of that. Mr. Ferguson, wherever there's sudden wealth, there's always sudden death, whether it be a diamond strike in Africa or a silver strike in Arizona. What's your opinion, Clevin? Well, there is crime and lawlessness in Tombstone, yes. That's in the nature of a boom town. But most important, our law has never lost the upper hand. Then why should any newspaper send me all the way from New York to do stories about Tombstone? Gentlemen, you know this is one of the most notorious towns in the West. Hope you're not expecting too much, Miss Blythe. You could be disappointed. Oh, I'll get my stories. Good newspaper woman, Clay. Those were fine stories you sent up last spring from Panama about the digging of the canal. Thank you. I think this investigation will make good copy, too. Please understand, the president merely wants to offer his help, if you need it. The law is getting control. How about your Apaches? You don't seem to have them under control. They're more a matter for the military, General Crook and the cavalry, although we do work hand in hand. The famous General Crook? be more famous if he could catch Geronimo. They're very interested in reading about the Apache Wars back east. Yeah, we'd rather read about them, too. Been wanting to interview the general. Just can't seem to get on to Fort Huachuca at the same time he's there. That's where uh, General Crook is now? Or somewhere in the mountains. Pretty treacherous country. Elizabeth Blythe had come to Tombstone for a story, and she was determined to get it. 
she rode out toward Fort Huachuca and the dangers of outlaw country. Where's that lady going, do you know? Fort Huachuca, try to find General Crook. Fort Huachuca. I'm Ferguson, special investigator for the president. Get me a horse, will you? I, I'd like to see if I can head her off. Why, well, yes, sure. I got one already. Thanks. Thank you. Would you give this message to the telegraph operator? I'd like Fort Huachuca to send a cavalry guard to meet Miss Blythe on the road. I sure will. Elizabeth Blythe continued her ride toward Fort Huachuca, unaware that the president's investigator was riding out after her, or that one of the Chandler gang was also riding hard out of Tombstone. dead, huh? No. The sheriff got Joe in the arm, threw him in jail. Jail? You stood around like a bum on a log? Glad there weren't a thing I could do then. <laughs> Ed, wait a minute. Don't you want to hear the news? What news? How about that galoot from Washington? What about him? He was sent here by the president to keep an eye on Tombstone. He's headed this way right now, chasing after some gal newspaper reporter from New York. Yeah. I like that. Clay! Clay! Yeah? Ferguson and Miss Blythe are gone. Oh, back east? No such luck. They both rode out toward Fort Huachuca. Great. The Chandler gang had a plan to intercept the two riders on their way to Fort Huachuca. Clay Hollister sensed trouble and rode against time. thing to do, Miss Blythe. You should have told us your plans. Well, I'm not that foolish. If I were, I couldn't have left Tombstone. I'm going on to get my story from General Crook. What's this all about? The boss got lonesome once company. I don't think he'll want mine. Do you know who I am? That's the reason he wants to see you. The young lady there may get a good story. It'll be about you. Oh, no.
Howdy, Mr. Hollister. Where are you headed for? I'm looking for a girl newspaper reporter and a man who set out to find her. So are we. He wired the fort to send a guard out to meet him. Well, I can't understand how you missed him. Me either. Hope nothing's wrong. Look, Corporal, take your men up through the Huachucas on the way back. I'll ride through the Whetstones. Glad to, Hollister. And, uh, if you find out anything, wire my deputy in Tombstone. Right. Help. Drop by, mister. You too, miss. You'll be doing some dropping yourself. From a scaffold. That's big talk, mister. From an hombre in your fix. He has every right to talk big. He's speaking for the United States government. I know. Sent by the president. That's why I brought him here. I have a small favor to ask of a big man. What's that? My brother's in jail in Tombstone. The sheriff shot him. You're going back and release him. Your brother's in no condition to travel, Chandler. He'll make it. I refuse. Mister, you're in no position to refuse anything. We'd better go back to Tombstone and do as he asks. Not you, miss. You're staying here till my brother shows up. I'm not leaving here without Miss Blythe. <laughs> Are you ready to go back to Tombstone? Without Miss Blythe? No. Oh. Please, you've got to do as they say. I want my brother here within six hours. And tell Hollister that if he makes one move that looks like a double cross, we clear out for Mexico. With the little lady. In that case, I, I guess I have no choice. Put the blindfold back on him. Take him back where you picked him up. And he's on his own. This appeared somewhere between here and the fort. How many do we need? All we can get. Ferguson. Where's Miss Blythe? She's with the brother of the man you shot and arrested. His men picked us up. He's holding her prisoner. Ed Chandler. Sit down. How did you get away? I'm supposed to tell you to release his brother and get him back to Chandler within six hours or they take Miss Blythe to Mexico. We've got less than three hours to get his brother back there. Back where? That, I don't know. The afternoon of October 16, 1882. The investigator of crime in Tombstone had found some and had found himself right in the middle of it. I've been trying to get something on the Chandlers. They're suspected of murder, rustling, smuggling, armed robbery, everything in the book. I'll get the men to follow Joe. Maybe we can find him that way. Uh, never mind the posse. I had to just skip over the border with a girl.
Feel like taking a ride? Depends on where to. Back to your brother. I'm turning you loose. Oh? What's the joker? Oh, Seems like a good idea. Afraid Ed'll come with the boys and blast the town, huh? Maybe. Or maybe you think you're gonna follow me and uh, find Ed, huh? No, I'm not gonna follow you. I'm gonna take you. All right. There's nothing I'd like more than getting you within range of Ed's guns. Hmm. Quint, I'm gonna take your horse. Mine's tired out. Sure, Clay. And don't let anybody follow us. We won't. But if you're not back by tomorrow, the whole town will go out after you. We'll be back. And don't let anything happen to that on the way, or Miss Blythe is a gunner. Yeah. First, you have to shoot him, then you have to keep him alive. The life of Elizabeth Blythe depended on delivering Joe Chandler before the three-hour deadline had passed. Chandler grew weaker, the ride was slow. Time was running out. Hold it. Well, I'm glad to see you're so full of fight. Fred I was gonna lose you before you led me to your brother. He's smart up, lawman. Go on back. You don't know what you're walking into. Mount up. I guess we better get ready to ride. Looks like Joe isn't gonna show up. You'll find lots of things to write about in... Send the girl out, I'll turn your brother loose. No! Turn Joe loose, then I'll let the girl go. I'm calling this. How do I know you'll let him go? She walks to me slowly, he walks to you slowly. And I'll have him covered every step of the way. You'll shoot him. Unless I have to. Give me the girl, there won't be any shooting this time. All right. when you have a chance. You were just too fast for me. Well, he's not too fast for me. We'll get him now. useful. Keep him pinned down. I'll go get him from the back. He ain't dead. He'll be back. 
He just gunned down Hollister. I know he did. Then where is he? You wait for him. Still a couple left in the house. Come on out, Joe. You haven't got a chance. Men are gone, your brother's dead. You're lying! He ain't dead! How are you at writing obituaries? Going back to jail, Joe. Pete and the other one. Wore out two horses. But that takes care of the Chandler outfit. I won't need keys to keep the ones up on Boot Hill out of trouble. You don't like your job, Sheriff. I don't like killing. Hollister, I came out here to report on the crime wave in Tombstone. Yes, and when you interrupted an arrest to tell me that, Joe Chandler almost killed me. I'm going to report that there is crime, a lot of it. But it's being held in check. I'll second that. My recommendation will be absolutely no interference by federal authorities. And you know how I'm going to back that up? How? By leaving for Washington myself on the first stage. Mr. Ferguson, have a good, safe trip. Thank you. Tombstone 